Hey guys, this is Vishal. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to access a SOAP web service in Mule application. So let's get started. So I have taken one public SOAP service for this demo purpose. Its name is a country information service which retains the information pertaining to a country details. So let me open the visual of it in my browser. So this is how it looks like okay if I search for the operations if I search for this so here you can see there are plethora of operations mentioned over here like getting the list of continents by name list of continents by code even also you can get the currencies by name or either by code so I will show you the two call operations here one is the list of country names by code and the second one I will be implementing if you go down here there is one more called capital city which returns the name of the capital city for the past country code. So let me open my AnyPoint studio. Let's create a new project. New mule project. I'll give name as a consume so service. Hit next, hit next, and eventually finish. So I have created a new project. So let's implement first call operation. Let's create a flow for it. So the first component I would need is a HTTP connector. So let's drag my HTTP connector into my canvas. Now let's configure it. So click on this plus symbol. I will accept the host and port as is the default uh, values of it. So I just click on OK. The path value I want to give is the get country list method I want to allow it as a get method so HTTP configure now go to your mule palette and search for a component which allows you to connect to your SOAP service so that name is a web service consumer so select this component and drag into our process section of canvas Again, inside properties you'll have to configure it so click on this add symbol so in this dialog here you can see you will have to locate the visual so there are two options to look uh, get your visual one is you can get it from the MuleSoft exchange or one from your local properties in order to get your Mules, uh, visual file from MuleSoft exchange just click on this link it will take you to the MuleSoft login page where you will have to enter your login credentials and get the visual available over here over there in your account so for time being I just keep these options and will try to search into my local directory so just click on this small button over here so as you can see it will try to search into my resources directory so let me cancel it for a moment so it will basically search inside this source main resources directory so I'll have to paste my visual inside it so let me paste it now let's go ahead and again try to configure it so if I want if I try to search here again now here I can see my visual so I select it it will automatically take the country info service for port there is a drop down so select the first one country info service so it makes the address pop up as per the visual locations and address so click on ok so my connector is configured inside operation there is also a list here you can see the operation listed down as you can see there are multiple operations inside the visual what we we saw earlier so first I want to implement is a list of country names by code so I'm gonna select this and save this so now let's add a logger inside our application
I search for a logger and drag into my canvas right after web service consumer. Now I want to print or log a result of my web service consumer. So the result in new language is called as a payload. So I just go, go to my message section and write a mule expression to print payload. So this is how you can write the mule expressions. So my application is ready. So my flow is ready. So let's go ahead and start my application. Run as mule application. So it will start deploying my application. As you can see, my application has been deployed. So, what endpoint we have configured is the get country list. I'm just copy this endpoint just to hit it. So, let me open my browser. So, I'll type localhost. It one and the URL. See if I hit this URL, it will show me the list of country names along with the ISO code. So here you can see this is how you get the response. If you go to the console and check how it is logging the response, here you can see it's logging the object name, the namespace restore xml stream reader instead of logging the actual xml response so what is happening here is that the payload what we are getting is in the form of object that is a dom object document object model so and logger it's not able to interpret that object inside into a string value so in order to get the correct string value we'll have to convert the dom object in, into a string value so Let's add a converter in between this. Search for the DOM to XML converter. Here is a converter. Drag it in between web service consumer and logger. You don't need to configure anything for this. It will automatically take the job of converting the data, uh, the payload into a actual one. All right. So it will convert the data and again returns the payload that will be in the form of XML. So let me shut it down and restart it. My application is deployed. Let me go to the browser and hit the request again. I hit it. As usual, browser get the same response. Now, if I go to the console, I can see now the XML response is printed. So the, the object is converted into an XML. Let's implement the second operation. Here you can see inside the visual file. Now I want to implement this capital city operation, which takes one parameter that is nothing but the country code. So we'll have to pass this parameter from HTTP request and then feed it to the web service consumer. So let's create a new pro new flow for this. I'll shut down my application. So add a HTTP connector again to your canvas. property of this is already configured the connector is already taken from the last flow the path value I want to give is the get capital city what I want to allow is a get method along with this request I'll be getting one query parameter so the query parameter is will be inbound properties so 
I want to store that inbound property inside a variable. So I declare one variable inside my flow. Click on the set variable. Give the name of the variable. I give as a ISO code. Inside value section, I will have to write a mule expression to read inbound properties, the query parameters from inbound properties of my mule message. So, first get the message dot inbound properties search for the HTTP query parameters, the third one, then my Param query parameter name so I'll give as a so instead of saying I'll give as a country code save it so we have created a variable now let's add a web service consumer add a web service consumer so the connector is already configured it is taking from the last one operation I want to call is a capital city the first one I will save my application now let's add a logger before logger we'll have to convert it into XML command for that I'll get the DOM to XML converter let's add it first then append it by logger over into my flow and I want to print the payload. So select the payload. So the flow is created. But I see there is one problem. If you go to this web service consumer, here I can see I'm calling the capital city, which is expecting a country code or ISO code as a parameter which should be wrapped inside a XML request. I have this country code inside my variable. So what I want to do is that I should I want to transform this X ISO code inside a XML request. So go to your mule palette, search for the transform message component. The second one, click on this and drag it between variable and your web service consumer. If you go to this property, it will show you what it is getting inside input and what it should render. So as output here you can see it is giving us a XML format because it is preceded by web service consumer. In input I have a ISO code so I just have to link this ISO code to this country ISO code element of XML. So just click on this and drag it till this ISO code so it will link it automatically. On the right hand side you can see there is expression created. The output of this expression would be in XML format. So I save it. Now my flow is completed. Let's go ahead and start the application. My application is deployed. So let me go to my browser and hit the second endpoint. So local colon eighty eighty one hit capital city and we have to pass one query parameters country code I give you the name if I hit enter it should return me the capital in capital city information now you can see it returned me the Washington as a capital city. If you go to the console, it is printing the actual XML response. So this is how you can access a SOAP web surface inside your mule application.